Welcome to this video. I'm playing Biff or Biff. Biff or Biff. Biff, isn't this this character from Back to the Future? There is an amazing rating difference. Don't get that too often. Very little people online. Little, very few people online. I don't know, maybe they watch the Olympics. You really could recognize in 2012 during the Summer Olympics that uh, there were there was really a, a big a big slump in online activity. People were watching the the event very very eagerly. I think the Winter Olympics is a bit different. Still, pe many people will watch, but it's not as much as in the summer. Okay, we have a Queen's Gambit declined. Somewhat, somewhat weird setup in many, many ways. But okay, I've got, um, I've got some space advantage, and he's probably going for f5. I will play g4 though. If he goes f5, I go g4. Um, wait, is that g5? Hmm. Just, uh, just a moment. Okay, let's let's play. Let's play it simple. Just play for a positional edge. G4. He maybe has G5. So I want. I didn't really want to go there. Okay. Now g4. Ah, that's a different animal. I did, let's do that. He cannot really take. This is murderous. And if he cannot take, I've got. Uh, I have accomplished something. At least I can capture myself and then maybe play on the g file. Yeah, I have not castled yet. That's of course useful. I can easily castle long, and I probably will. Hmm, oh, that's a very really passive move. Okay, let's let's take and get the knight to f4. That's a good square. Okay, pre prevent any any idea of g5 and now castles long and pile up on the g file yeah well g5 wasn't really a threat okay but h4 is um, it's not a not a big loss of tempo or anything quite often you will play g6 anyway so i have h5 it's not not a problem the whole position is really a matter of this this terrible c8 bishop and the knight on e8 is not doing much as well i can even yeah but uh, no this is a position for for a head on attack castles rook dg1 double on the g file what i was trying to say is um i can easily also move the bishop and get the knight to e5 now you cannot play bishop a6 as f5 hangs. Yeah, I'm, I must be, be cautious so that I don't allow him to open any lines. On b3 I play a3, on a3 I play b3. This is why I played the queen away so that b3 is not coming with a tempo. Okay, one question is, should I go f3 or not? Yeah, I, I prevent even knight e4. It's not clear that it's necessary, but I, I'd like to do that. I have king d2 to cover the e3 pawn in case he plays rook e8.
knight e4 is a move that I must be aware of. So let's say I play h5, knight e4 would be embarrassing. So attention. Okay, rook g1, maybe. I could take f5. Maybe I should have taken that. I don't know. Yeah, probably rook f7. I don't know. He must cover g7, I guess. Okay, now I can take f5. Should I do that? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's not easy to see how, how else to, to make any progress. Knight e4, f takes is now covered. The rook is covered. And um, I'm threatening rook e5 here. Yeah. Or oh, threatening is maybe a bit much. Intending, it's not um, like winning. Yeah, he will lose some time, I guess. Yeah, but black has um, has big trouble here. Black forfeits on time. Yeah, it's not not very nice. Yeah, this 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 position right of the opening was um was really tricky. Yeah, here I was g4 is always an interesting possibility. I was irritated a bit by g5. Not sure if this. Uh, Oh, knight e5 is a good reply. I was only seeing this this move, and uh, I wasn't really sure about all that. Uh, maybe this is even okay, but I don't know. It was a bit a bit strange. So this is the easy way to go, and um, it's just he has so many pawn weaknesses here that um, it's it's difficult really for black. Takes yeah, and then. Here maybe queen takes, but I don't know. This is um, now very one-sided. Here basically has no counterplay, and um, I think I lost. I lost some time even. It's, uh, it, it's funny. The computer wants to do something entirely different. He wants. It wants to play a3. This basically forces the the, the capture, and then it wants to play against this pawn. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I mean, but I don't want to play on the a file and the g file. The the way I played, I think, is is also quite good. It keeps the the pressure on, and it's um, so many types of transformations are problematic for black. Even an end game, let's say I just play knight d3 and pick up the pawn on b4, and the end game is completely lost. So there are many scenarios where I don't even need to checkmate him, just uh, trade some pieces. That's the real problem. I have an attack and easy play, and uh, in many cases, simple trades even are enough to convert this advantage to a win. Okay, thanks for watching.